uh, Bitcoin SLRV ratio data performs a moving average crossover absent since before uh, the FTX implosion hit the market. Uh, Bitcoin could have dropped much more last week after one on-chain metric repeated its move from the FTX crash. Uh, as noted on Sepital 5 by Jane Stratton, research and data analyst at Crypto Insights, firm Crypto Slate, the SLRV ratio has flipped for the first time since November 2022. Uh, BTC price weakness is getting market observers ready uh, for a drop toward $23,000, but the, the fall off from Bitcoin's August come down uh, could have been much worse uh, according to the short to long term realized value ratio. A spike in sales of older Bitcoins occurred in mid-August, uh, devised by famed analyst David PL and ARK Invest. SLRV uses the popular HODL waves metric to track Bitcoin on-chain velocity. HODL waves split up the circulating BTC supply by the age of coins used in transactions. SLRV takes coins that previously moved within the past 24 hours and divides them by those which previously moved between 6 and 12 months ago. The metric also includes two moving averages, the 30-day and 150-day trend lines, and crossovers between these have coincided with key BTC price events. Um, and just before the FTX meltdown, the 150-day line crossed the 30-day line. And in mid-August, the phenomenon repeated for the first time since then. SLRV ribbons inverted on August 13, three days before Bitcoin drops to 25K last time. Uh, the metric inverted was just before the FTX collapse. Uh, Staten wrote in part of the commentary uh, uh, on a chart of SLRV uh, from uh, on-chain analytics firm Glassnode. Uh, a previous analysis uh, has meanwhile paid uh, close attention to behavior uh, of uh, Bitcoin investor cohorts who was hodling BTC for 155 days or less known as short-term holders or speculators compared to longer-term hodlers are of particular interest to Glassnode, on-chain analytics platform, CryptoQuant, and the others. Uh, the short-term holder uh, cost basis, uh, the aggregate price at which STH accumulated their share of the BTC supply previously acted as market support, but this appears no longer be a case. The STH cost basis currently sits above spot price with Strat reporting that speculators sold en masse at a loss since late August. Uh, data from CryptoQuant shows the price at which uh, various uh, coins used in transactions last moved. Uh